and court. A pretty dynamic situation. We've seen a lot of rain. This is the first time we're getting these flood warnings in recent memory. Yeah, and this is going to be a substantial moisture push across our region. A lot of this is something that people south of us have already seen this season so far. We are seeing a heavy dose of rainfall and gusty winds for today. Flooding and power outages not out of the question due to the conditions. And what we're seeing outside right now, you can see the roads slick across Northern California. This is that live look at Highway 32 and Main Street. You can see the ground is wet. Rain becoming heavier in this shot right now. Winter storm warnings remain in effect for the Northern Sierra through Wednesday afternoon. That'll likely be lifted earlier than that due to the snowfall that will and much earlier than Wednesday afternoon. In fact, it looks like that snow will wrap up tonight. Flood watches in effect across our entire region through early 10 a.m. Wednesday. Flood warnings in effect along the Sacramento River. The biggest impacts expected at the Woodson Bridge, Tehama Bridge, and Ord Ferry areas there. All three of those projected to hit flood stage either later today or early tomorrow morning. Flood warnings in effect for the portions of Plumas County as well as flood advisories in Lassen and Plumas County areas and high wind warnings in effect now. They started just a half an hour ago, lasting through 11 p.m. tonight. The worst of the winds expected heading into this afternoon. Gusts potentially up to 60 miles an hour out of the southeast that could cause some power outages out there. Temperatures are mild this morning, so you don't really need to bundle up as far as the temperatures are concerned, but you're going to want to wear something that is waterproof and grab the umbrella. 50s for the valley this morning, 40s in the foothills, 30s to 40s in the mountains. Wind starting to get a bit stronger out of the southeast to 16 miles an hour right now. 20 to 30 mile an hour gusts at 8 a.m. on your way out the door. Noon today, 30 to 45 mile an hour gusts, and that's what we're seeing heading into the afternoon. 40 to 50 mile an hour gusts by that point in the valley out of the southeast. Continuing to see gusts up to around 45 miles an hour for your commute home, and then those gusts subsiding tonight, and then it's north winds developing for tomorrow on the backside of this wet system as it progresses through. Satellite and radar. I'm tracking heavy rain in pockets across the valley, especially along and west of I-5. Shasta County, it's heavy rain. Red Bluff just to the west of Red Bluff. It is a pocket of heavy rain right now, as well as Corning. Along the west side of I-5 in Glen County, rain is becoming heavier as well. Light to moderate showers so far east of I-5 in the valley, but that's going to become more intense through the day. Low pressure to our north, pairing with another system off the coast, tapping into that substantial moisture plume, bringing rain, gusty winds, and the threat of thunderstorms to our region today. Thunderstorm threat is widespread throughout your Tuesday. Hyperlocal futurecast. 8 a.m. is when we're projected to see some of the heaviest rainfall and most widespread heavy rain across our region. That continues to persist through around noon today. Pockets of heavy rain with that chance for thunderstorms. Starts to see that moving north towards the afternoon into the evening hours. But again, that threat of thunderstorms is still prevalent and that could dump heavy rain locally and locally gusty winds. Skies clearing out tomorrow early in the day and we're left with sunshine through your Wednesday. More sunshine on the way for your Thursday as well, but then more clouds increasing Thursday night into Friday as another wet system approaches the coast. Could leave us with some showers Friday evening for St. Patrick's Day. Mostly dry Saturday with showers Saturday night through Sunday that look fairly modest and then more wet weather that looks heavier early midweek next week. So through tonight, we are looking at two and a half inches of rain possible in Redding over an inch and a quarter for Chico. We're seeing two plus inches possible in some of our mountain zones. Snow totals could see over a foot in some of our higher elevations, mainly above 5,000 feet. Temperatures today, 40s for the northern mountains, 30s to 40s in the Sierra and Southern Cascades, foothills in the 40s to lower 50s, and it's mid 50s to low 60s in the valley today. Gusty winds, rain, and that chance for thunderstorms all in store for your Tuesday. Your Storm Tracker 70 forecast for your weekends always in view. Clearing out with sunshine, returning Wednesday and warming up. Low to mid 60s for the afternoon, dipping into the 30s midweek in the valley for the mornings, but warmer for the afternoons. Friday, cloudy with increasing shower chances in lower 60s, and then more showers possible through your weekend with 50s to 60s for your highs, heavier rain early to midweek, heading into next week's forecast.